Good morning, Gary from My Local Trades here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to set up uh, an FAQ, a um, frequently asked questions and answers section on your Drupal website. Um, firstly, we need to set up the content types so we can start adding the content, the, the questions and the answers. So to set up a content type in Drupal, we would go to a structure and content types. Currently, the content types we have, he have in here are articles and blogs, basic page, FAQ, and so on. The FAQ we already have in here, um, which is a frequently asked question and, and uh, answer to the website. I'm going to remove that so we can reset it up. to remove that okay so we're going to now create a new content type called FAQ so FAQ and we're just going to put a little description in here for our own benefit so add an FAQ to the FAQ section and um, where it's got the title here we want to change it from title normally by default it would put title in there so if you're creating a page you give that page a title in this instance we're creating an FAQ so the title field needs to be question this is where you would add the question we don't want to promote it to the front page and we don't want to display the author and date information and then we click save and manage fields by default in Drupal when you create a content type it will give you a body field so this body field we want to change and call that answer keep everything else the same and click Save so now we've created the content type we can actually go to content this is the page that lists all the content that's currently on the site. We can add content and we would add an FAQ. So this is what we've just created. So firstly, we want to give it a question. So the question, let's let's pop a sample question in. What is your min um, charge? And then obviously you would pop your answer in here. So my minimum out fee is ninety pounds plus. That's the question. That's the answer. We would click save. So this is our. This is um, now created this we've got a, a nice clean URL so we've got forward slash FAQ forward slash what your minimum charge um, so we've now created our first FAQ we now need to display this FAQ so we would in, in Drupal to display any content it has a system called views so we would go to structure views these are all the views that are currently in the site. We want to add a new view. So in the new view, we want to call it FAQ. Okay, we're going to take content for this view from the FAQ content type. We then want to create a page. So we'll call it FAQs and path we'll just leave as FAQ. So that would be effectively um, website for electricians.com forward slash FAQ um, we want to give it titles we want to give the titles titles being the question um, let's we want to display them all so you put zero in for items to display you make that zero that actually means that it will show them all and then we save and edit So at the moment, it's now showing, this is a preview down the bottom here, and we can preview it, it's showing the question. But now we want to 
give it the answer. So we, sorry, I'll do that a bit slower. So under fields, this is what we're showing here under fields. It's currently showing the title. What we want to do is add the answer field. So we click add, come down here to find body, which also says content answer, which appears in all these. So we just add the body, keep it as default, click apply. It would now show the question and the answer down here. Um, obviously, this is limited to just the content type FAQ. We can tell it if we want to show the title and the body for all these other content types, but in this instance, we don't want to. So we just keep that as FAQ. Now, when we click save, that creates our view with the path FAQ. Now we want to add it to our main menu on the website so normal visitors can see the content and the page. So we would click normal menu entry and just give it a title that the customers would see at the end. So FAQs. Click apply. We then save that and go back home. We've now got our FAQs. Now on our FAQs, FAQs views page, we've obviously got the question and the answer. That is the basic setup for it. We can change the way that these display on this views page. This is the beauty of uh, and the power of Drupal views is that you can change any content to display it how you wish. So. Um, that's what we can do from the front end we can click this little once we're logged in we can click this little pencil icon and we can edit the view directly from there so we, we come back here um, so if we want to show it as an accordion we will click jQuery UI accordion click apply we just set up the fields um, personally I would keep everything by default you can set different height styles and the events, uh, any animation effects. Um, I'll just keep everything by default and click apply. We click save. This is now showing them as accordions. So as you add more to this page, these will um, close up and as people click on them, they open. Um, there's different if we edit the view again, we can edit this accordion settings um, and we can tell it to not open any on start so we keep them all closed and then we click apply. Road to display open on start and then to be collapsed. Ah okay, so we need to have them collapsed. We need to click that collapsed box. Click save. So now we have this where it's collapsed. So when someone clicks on it, it opens up. As we add more FAQs, so let's go back up here, add content, add an FAQ. Um, so we'll ask the next question. So Question number two, and then we put answer to question number two, and we simply click save. We go back to the FAQs page. We now have both of them in here where people can now click on all your FAQs, and that's as that, that, that is a simple and quick way of creating an FAQ section on your website um, and how quick it is to then create the FAQs individually. You just go to add content, add the question, add the answer, click save and you can keep populating your FAQs page.
hope that will make sense guys um, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial